Welcome, gentlemen. Today is Sunday, October 12th, 2014. And it's time for another video. My shave of the day today. Uh, premiere of The Walking Dead tonight, so I'm real excited about that. Uh, let's get right into the implements of destruction. Soap is going to be Razor Rock, the Friedberg. Uh, and I'm pairing that with fine platinum aftershave. Uh, the razor I'm going to use today is the Mercur 38C Barber Pole. And the blade I'm going to be using is a feather, high stainless. Uh, and it's going to be my second shave with that particular uh, blade. The brush, as always, is my Matthew Marting Custom Silver Tip Badger. I have dubbed the 49er. Uh, and last but not least, the shave ridge today, the shave beverage is going to be Modus Hopperandi India Pale Ale. Really good beard. Definitely pick some of that up. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and start lathering up, or start loading our brush here. Some time ago, when I first kind of got into this, I was looking for uh, soaps that would match, or aftershaves that would match soaps, soap and aftershave pairings. Uh, and my buddy The Stallion uh, suggested this one. I believe the, the soap and the aftershave are modeled after Creed Aventus, uh, but I'm not sure about that. Um, another one I used yesterday, shave of the day, Razor Rock Triple X and Fine Italian Citrus. Or no, yesterday's was Bay Rum. Uh, but that's another pairing that I use quite often that I really, really like. All right, we got a good amount of soap on that brush. Definitely check it, check Matthew out, Matthew Marting at M North Lathe Craft. Oh, he's on Etsy. Uh, he's all over the shave groups. Makes fantastic brushes. I'm just gonna wet my face and we'll get right to it. Only been doing this a short time. I got that uh, Mercure 38C Barber Pole. It was my first safety razor. I actually got that for Christmas or birthday last year, uh, December. Birthday is the 20th and Christmas is the 25th, obviously. So birthday presents and Christmas presents kind of blend together for me. But I got that and the Scally Badger brush. Uh, and I've been doing it ever since. So I'm still a bit of a noob. Alright, we got a nice lather there. And today, my first pass is going to be with the grain, which is this way, from chin to ear. Today's music in the shower was not the heavy metal I usually listen to. It was actually Adele. I love her voice. That's one sexy fat girl. Love this razor. 
uh, a little more on the mild side. Not as mild, I don't think, as um, like the EGA DE89. Although I don't really have much of a basis of comparison on there, I've never used the uh, DE89. Uh -huh. I have used the Wishi slash Microtouch one, and that's about as mild as you can get. And this 38C is definitely more aggressive than that. Like I said, I'm still a bit of a noob, so the only razors I really used are my barber pole, the Razor Rock Jaws, I've got a Schick Injector, and that Weishi. Throwing a tuxedo there, Stallion. I dropped my razor. Let's rinse that off. It is a bathroom floor. All right, uh, third pass, or sorry, second pass down. And like I mentioned before, my the grain of my hair, the beard growth grows in an odd direction. It grows from Adam's apple to ear or chin to ear, nose to ear. Except right here, it goes straight down. So what would normally be a uh, with the grain pass is actually an across the grain pass for me. All right, third pass. I've tried many soaps. Matter of fact, I'm going to be putting a few videos up later today, probably later today, uh, of and give you guys a tour of my shaved in. Uh, let you know, see all the equipment I've accumulated over the past 11 months, 10 months. Definitely have to say I like the tallow based soaps over the vegan soaps. Um, but that's just a personal preference. I like the, the way it feels on my face. All right, third pass up. Sip off the shaverage. One of the things that's been difficult for me making the transition from cartridge razors is not having a pivoting head and having to change the angle of the razor as I go around the contours of my face. All right, let's see how that feels. As usual, I still got some stubble around the jawline and on my neck. Cheeks feel pretty good, but I'm going to lather up for one more pass, and we'll go against the grain this time, and as usual, I'll throw in some J-hooks around the jawline, and probably the Gillette slide on the neck.
And as always, gentlemen, uh, like I said, I'm a pretty easygoing guy. Uh, any critiques, criticisms that you may have, hit me up on Facebook. I always like to talk shaving. All right, real quickly, I'm going to squeeze out the last bit in there. Get the money shot going. <laughs> Smear that around and finish up with some J hooks and the Gillette slide. Me throwing the Weaver cross up. Right, Pete? All right, there we have it, gentlemen. My shave of the day for Sunday, October 4th, October 12th, 2014. Till next time, enjoy a shave ridge with your shave. Uh, happy shaving.